Today on Redneck Ramblings, we're going to talk about Patron Tequila. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Redneck Ramblings. Thanks for tuning in to this Mason Jar Mafia production. Today we're going to take a look at Patron. We're going to take a look at three different Patrons. Uh, these are the three flavors the, the, that are uh, the th three varieties of Patron that are readily available to me. I can buy them locally pretty much anytime I want to go buy them. Um, you got the Patron Silver. You got the uh, Reposado. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. And you have the Anisio. Um, basically, these are all the same base product. Um, this one is aged for three months. This one is aged for a year. So um, I think on their website they say three to five months, and that one's aged for at least a year. But um, same base product. Every liquor comes off the, the still clear. That's what you have at the base product is the silver. So this is these are all made at the um, Hacienda Patron Distillery in uh, Jalisco. I'm not sure pronouncing that right in Mexico. All um, tequila is made in a couple different regions of Mexico. You can make tequila elsewhere, but you cannot call it tequila. Um, you can call it mezcal. Mezcal is kind of like the uh, moonshine version of tequila. So let's sample these and let's see if I, I, I'm curious. I want to try. I've never tried these all back to back. I have had all three of these. And um, by the way, they do make another an extra an, an, anisio that I believe is aged for three years. It is not available by me. Um, I can probably order it, maybe, but it is not available by me. Oddly enough, my local uh, liquor store does have another version of Patron that I'm not going to pay the money for. Because um, once you get above the extra, which is only a few dollars more um, than the Anisio, you start getting into the hundreds uh, when you start getting into the uh, um, the special versions of it. But So that's a lot of my price range, but these are all roughly the same price. Uh, there's only a couple dollars difference between the silver and the Anisio. So if you prefer the aged product, eh, go for the Anisio. It's only a couple dollars more. But anyway, let's, let's, let's sample these and see what they're like. These are all three made, of course, same base product. They're all made from the 100% uh, um, Weber Blue Agave. And if you don't like agave, uh, some people just don't like agave. I like to be able to taste the base um, ingredient in liquor. I like to be able to, to taste the ingredients, and I like the flavor of agave. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a little weird like that. This is the clear. This is the newborn. It's not aged. And by the way, when they age these... Um, a little bit of side note here. Patron does something kind of cool. Uh, I guess you can call it cool. I think it's cool. Um, they do not use all white oak barrels. Um, they use a combination of um, uh, French oak, Hungarian oak, and used American whiskey barrels. Um, so they they, they, they they age them in all three barrels, and then they blend them, which is cool. So produces a very... Uh, um, a product that's very consistent from year to year I guess doing that but let's sample this guy oh yeah on the nose mmm you can smell that agave you can smell the ethanol but you can smell that agave right there and that agave right there on the lips that's what that's what hits you you get the agave on the lips and the front of the tongue you get the ethanol on the back. Aftertaste is pure agave. I mean, that's that's what you're that's what you're tasting. It doesn't have a. Uh, these are all only 80 proof. Um, there is no there is no alcohol burn really. Um, you don't get a, a consistent burn. Just a little bit of a warming as it goes down. Mmm. But yeah, you get that agave. You get that raw, naked agave flavor in this. Mm. But that's where the flavor comes from in the, in the clear, all from the agave. I'm going to get a different glass here. And I'm also going to rinse my uh, taste buds off a little bit. 
It's a little bit of ice water. But I'll just tell you up front, I like all three of these, but uh, I'm not sure which one I like best, really. Um, let's, let's try the, uh, let's try this one. Um, these are probably the, the three most common varieties of Patron that you'll see um, out there. If you go to a party or something, or if you ask for a Patron at a bar and you don't specify, you might get a Nijo. Most likely you're going to get one of these first two. Probably a little more than I actually needed there. Now you see this one here, it's only been aged for three months. I think they say three to five months. And it is almost clear. You have just a little bit of color that is pulled out of that, those barrels. And the one thing we don't know is how heavy of a char they use, if they use a char in these barrels. Um, they, they don't, they're not real, uh, real open about their, um, you know, the, the whole process of it. Um, there, there are some things that Patron keeps to themselves, and that's one of them. They don't tell you the char that's on their barrels, but they do tell you that they use some American whiskey barrels, which typically are a heavy char. A medium to a heavy char so three months to five months in a barrel let's see what kind of flavors we get here see if we pull any of that uh see if we pull any kind of uh, uh caramels or anything from that uh that barrel or any kind of an oak flavor or something let's just see here on the smell you know it does smell different you don't have quite a um you don't have the fragrance on this one is all agave I mean and, and a little bit of ethanol that's what you smell this one here is a little more refined the smell on it is you can still smell that agave but it is not as forward as it is in the silver let's taste it you still have that agave flavor right up front but it's a little bit drier um, so you can still taste the agave here, um, plenty of plenty of agave flavor, but it's uh, it's starting to dry out a little bit. It's not as uh, it's not as bold and as vibrant of agave flavor as what you have in the silver, but you can still taste it. And I don't even know if that color is going to even show through on camera. Um, it is such a light tinge to it. I'm kind of amazed that the flavor changed that much, really, in just three months, but. Mm. absolutely though you get that agave flavor you get a drier agave and a um, little bit of a little bit of an alcohol on the back but there's it's just just like the silver there is no no alcohol burn with this they're they're the silver and the reposado are both a pretty smooth product so let's try the third one this is Nijo. um most people that are uh um, rum drinkers will tell you to go straight for the Anesia. Don't even bother with the, um, with the silver versions, but let's just see here. And I think the term Anesia in rum typically uh, infers that it's been aged for three months. Or I'm sorry, three years. I may be wrong about that. But but the uh, Patron Anesia, one year on oak, or I'm sorry, one year in oak cask. It doesn't necessarily have to be oak. You definitely have more flavor, more color on that. Definitely have more color, but again, it's not, uh, it's not to the, uh, it's not as, as 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 deep of an amber color as you would have with an American whiskey. And I'm guessing they don't use a char in their barrels. I'm just guessing that. I don't know that for a fact because their website doesn't say. I have watched a document a documentary on um, making Patron. It's a very interesting process, but there's a lot of things that they just don't show you. Um, let's sample this. Mm. Now on the on the aroma on this, you can still kind of smell the agave. It's a it's still there, but it, it is definitely more of a refined agave smell. So it's actually that's a that liquor in those barrels is really starting to show some benefit of being in the barrels. At that one year mark let's taste this guy definitely definitely a smoother product you can still taste the agave the agave is not that strong of a flavor in that 
you're starting to get more of a, a liquor type flavor as opposed to an agave flavor. And I'm not sure. You know, there might be just a hint of the uh, oak coming through in that. Just a hint of it. But it's definitely, the, the agave is definitely tamed down in this. Um, you don't taste it as, as prevalent. You don't smell it as prevalent. And it is a smoother product than the first two. I think on their website they advertise the uh, Nijo as the uh, perfect for sipping. And uh, interesting. I'm going to watch my mouth out again. Let's try this again. Because it is definitely a different product. Um, if you were going to try one of these three, I guess it would depend on how you're going to use it. There are only a couple, there's only a couple dollars difference. So, um, I would either go with the silver or the Anisio. Um, the Reposado probably has its place, but the way I drink liquor is, uh, I drink it like this. I, I drink it in shots. So, and the most flavor is from the silver. Absolutely. Most the most agave flavor is the silver. So if you want that agave flavor, you want the silver. Let's try this again. There is absolutely a hint of the uh, oak coming through that. It's very subtle. It's not up front. You get it in the back and you get it on the aftertaste. But uh, the one thing you don't get on the aftertaste is the agave. So on the uh, on the silver, I got the uh, I got the agave up front, and then I got it I got it on the uh, on the tail after it was done. The aftertaste, if you will. Oh, absolutely. Agave all over it. Agave in the front, and on the aftertaste, it's agave. I'm not getting a whole lot of agave flavor on this. I'm in the aftertaste on this one. I'm getting more of an oak flavor. So it is starting at that one year mark. Um, I'm assuming these are non-charred barrels because of the uh, the color on that's very light. But uh, yeah, it, it is it is managing to pull through some of that uh, some of that flavor from the wood, which is cool. I'm not getting any kind of uh, caramel notes from it or anything like that, which you would get from a char. But definitely. Definitely a drinkable product. And like I said, it's, it's smoother than the first two. Definitely, if you're going to sit here and just and sip on it, and uh, you don't mind, you're not necessarily looking for that, um, um, that raw, naked agave flavor, this would probably be the one to use. It's probably the one you want to go to. If you want the agave, you got to do the silver out of these three. And um, I've never tried a version above these three. Um, so I know there's an extra out there. I've never even tried the extra. And there are some other versions of it. But um, like I said, the the more uh, the, the higher end versions of Patron are way out of my price league. So these three are reasonable. They're mid 50s, something like that. Less than $60 a bottle. So. Mm. That's it. If you've never tried Patron, if you're interested in tequila, it is definitely worth it's definitely worth trying. There are a lot of people that uh, I know people that Patron's all they drink. Now, I am not to that extent. I don't have a uh, a liquor that I drink exclusively. Um, I've never had a liquor that I drink exclusively. Um, I like a lot of different stuff, but uh, I do like I do like that uh, that raw naked agave flavor that you get from the silver. It's pretty good. I like it. I recommend it. Even if you just try the silver. If all you've ever had is the Anisio, you've never tried the silver, give the silver a try. I think you'll like it. But uh, that's what I think. I'm going to sit here and finish these th these couple shots and uh, we're going to call it a night. Thank you for watching. Be sure and click that uh, subscribe button down below if you're not subscribed to this channel. Be sure and click that like button if you like this video. Share it with your friends. Thank you. 
You have a good night.